Well, as we heard, the executives at FIFA's headquarters in Zurich yesterday voted to introduce goal line technology during games. FIFA's also decided to allow players to wear headscarves. Correspondent Victoria Morgan was in Zurich yesterday for the vote. She joins us now on the line. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning. Now, firstly, can you tell us exactly what came out of yesterday's FIFA meeting? Yeah, these were three historic decisions. The decision to introduce goal line technology um, to allow players to wear headscarves if they wish and also to um, to bring in extra um, linesmen to help the referee to make any decisions that they would have to make. Now, when it comes to the technology, the goal line technology decision, this was a big surprise really from FIFA because the uh, the world governing body has always been against uh, bringing technology into the game, but they were forced to rethink their strategy after the 2010 um, World Cup, the game between England and Germany where Frank Lampard scored a goal. It was clearly scored, but no referees saw it, um, so the goal was not given. And this has caused a big uproar in England and elsewhere. FIFA then thought it was time to examine it, this question. So from 2010 till now, they've been thinking about goal line technology. And it's perhaps important to underline what they were saying yesterday, that though they've decided to bring in um, some technological systems to monitor whether the ball crosses the line to score a goal, these are, this is the end of it. There's going to be no more technology in the game. These systems are designed for a very rare event to decide if a goal, goal has been scored or not. And the referee will still have the final word. It could be perhaps that a goal, a goal will be scored, but if there was a handball or if the, a player was offside before then, the ref can, would still decide not to give a goal and it would be the referee's decision that was final, not the technology's. OK, now the goal line systems that we're hearing about are called Hawkeye and Goal Ref. Can you tell us how they work? Yeah, so these are the two uh, makers that, have, um, uh, that FIFA has approved. One, Hawkeye works with cameras and is very similar to the system that's currently in use in tennis, for example, or in cricket. Um, goal Ref actually plants copper rings, thin copper rings, into the balls and essentially puts magnets on the goals. And um, when the ball crosses the line to within um, uh, one centimetre of accuracy, they can tell whether the goal has been scored or not. And the referee and the match will get a little vibration on, um, their, tele- on, their, on their watch, which will let them know if there's a goal been scored or not. And these systems are relatively expensive, so from 150000 to 250000 US dollars per system. So initially, at least, it does look like it would be the richer leagues that would be uh, installing this. Although it's very important to underline as well that though FIFA has approved this, there's no, um, there's no imposing any technology on any league or competition that doesn't want to, to install this just yet. Um, perhaps in the Premiership, there is a lot of money. And they, um, the FIFA said yesterday, if the clubs were in agreement, perhaps the technology could be introduced partway through the season after the final testing has taken place. But that's okay. only if the clubs agree. And just quickly, Victoria, can you tell us about uh, the decision to allow players to wear headscarves? Yes, so headscarves have been approved because FIFA essentially wants to spread the game as widely as possible. They say that they realised that there were whole populations of people not playing football because it wasn't possible to wear a headscarf. So FIFA expects that designs or rules about the size and the shape will be defined by the end of the year. And what they were worried about was that this might get in the way and stop free-flowing football. So they were looking at scarves, for example, that will not be in your face when you run. And one thing that they're in agreement about is that they would have to be the same colour as your kit. Brilliant. Our thanks to Victoria Morgan there on the line from Zurich. 26 minutes past seven in Paris.